1950s, if you appeared on camera at WCIA, you usually did several jobs. You could be a program host, a pitch man for a local product or sponsor, or even do the weather. Coleman was part of the team that supported local weather authority Mr. Roberts on air. I recently looked at a film of one of the old weather shows that I did, one of my early efforts at Channel 3, and I think the main thing I should do, given this opportunity to appear again on the station, is to apologize to all the Channel 3 viewers. Gosh, I was bad, and I thought I was good, and I must have been intolerable to watch. Of course, it was a little chilly up today, too, I'll confess that. But I think that this evening, that I can smile a bit and promise you we're going to have a nice Easter. Hope that'd make you happy. Well, let's take a look at the national weather map now and see how things stack up across the country today. Here are the fronts as they appeared. A warm front extended from a low pressure area in Pennsylvania on out to the Atlantic Ocean. This warm front had some precipitation which brought rain today to the New York City and Pennsylvania area and on up into lower New England. At the same time, a cold front extended further south across the Atlantic states and across to Texas. Along this cold front today, there were some showers. At the same time, as these arrows indicate here, colder air moved down from Canada across the middle of America and down through our area, bringing us chillier temperatures today. A high pressure area, however, is going to clear our skies and as it passes this area, bring us warmer temperatures by the weekend as there are warmer winds blowing up from the front, now attached to this low, but which will soon be attached to this high and bring us clear skies and warm temperatures for Easter. John was also a bit of a prankster, so was it a joke when he reported on television that aliens landed near Philo in Champaign County? You be the judge. Over the years, like any organization, we've built up a few tales of times past. Once a young weatherman made a suggestion to his audience on how they might spend a pleasant summer's eve. I was about to go on with the early evening weather when I got a call from a man who said, uh, John, this is the desk over at the police department, and I know you're about to go on. I thought you'd like to know that we're getting a flood of UFO reports from down around Philo, southwest, southeast of Urbana. I said, hey, thanks for calling. Uh, he heard a police radio say that uh, there a flying saucer had landed in a field out near, I think, Longview. Yeah, he said, well, it's been a quiet night everywhere. Of course, that's the flying saucer landing at Sidoris uh, uh, created a little activity there. It's a beautiful summer evening. So I went on the air and I said, what are you going to do with a beautiful summer evening? Why don't you go out and look at the spaceships? I've just had a report from the police that UFOs have been spotted out around Philo. And as I remember this, he went on the air and he said uh, at 6.15 in the evening, now, now take this with a grain of salt. You can't believe everything you hear. But I've just heard that a flying saucer landed in a cornfield on a long view. It was at a time when everyone was seeing flying saucers. So everybody took off. Thousands of people got in their cars and went out to see the UFOs. And the roads, the little one-lane rural two-rut roads between the cornfields out around Philo were jammed till after midnight. They blocked traffic for four miles in every direction to Sedoris, you know. And it turns out that indeed UFO reports had been received, UFOs had been spotted on the radar at Chinoot Air Force Base, where they were still flying at the time. He said it, yeah, it's just that it was, there wasn't any weather to talk about, so he made some stupid statement like that. All oh, the state police were mad. We really messed things up for Sedoris. Though we couldn't say anything publicly, we were vindicated. We still can't say anything publicly, folks. That's classified. Colbin was a University of Illinois graduate, and he did go on to do weather in Chicago and later San Diego. He also co-founded the Weather Channel in 1982.